Good evening and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Odia Parandis. Man, we are looking good today. We are back up to 5,000 bucks, so it means we can get 5,000 more, well, 4,400 more, and we'll be ready for the bus. We could have used that 10,000 from our last episode when we had the, when we bought the axe upgrade, but uh, you know what? It's, money's coming pretty well these days, so maybe we can make, we can make it, I think. And also, we have tons of gold we could sell off too if we wanted to. Uh, we've sold 33 so far, and we need 250 per thing. Then we need to sell off, let's see, four would be a thousand, so we need to sell off, uh, what, 16 to get to, uh, 5,000 right there? Or 4,000 right there? Uh, plus whatever else we can gather today. I don't think it's impossible to get back to 10,000 before the end of the episode here. Anyways, we have a couple things to drop off for Gunther. We have that. I thought there was one more thing, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, let's take a look at the, the TV today. Nothing else besides the fortune teller. Let's see what they have to say. Neutral today, that's fine for me. I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's see, let's look at sashimi. And we'll be ready to go. Okay, cool, so, um... Oh, Gunther, hey. What, what, what do you want? Morning, Mr. Modi. Hope it's not too early. I mean, I'm up, no worries. Well, I just want to stop by and thank you in person for the wonderful artifacts and minerals you discovered. Uh, you've done it all. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I just received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts, and we're being honored with a coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Do I get the Golden Shovel? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that has been sealed in the museum vault for over 100, at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but it's still beautiful. The rusty key has been added to your wallet. Oh my gosh. Could that be the key for the sewer, you think? Or, yeah, because there's this, there's the sewer grate that's in town, and there's also the sewer grate that's on the edge of the, by uh, Leah's house, right? Oh man, we got to try, try both of those, I think, today. Uh, well, we'll hop on Reno here, and uh, you know what, we should see if, I wonder if we can, can we rename Reno? No, I think we only get one chance to rename him. Uh, I was thinking it would be better to name Nevada because our uh, dog is in Indiana. Um, and the dog's a state name, the, the horse is a city name. I guess it's fine. I'm kind of getting picky now, aren't I? I don't think we can rename our horse. Maybe we can, but, um, no, I don't want to, I don't want to hop on here, Reno. I just want to do this. Don't eat it either. No, I don't want to eat the egg. Thank you. No matter how many times you ask, Modi, I don't care about eating the egg. Man, this place is in shambles right now. All right, Chiggies, how's it going? Nice, nice, nice. And nice. That'll be like 300 bucks there, right there, today. Oh, wait. Five eggs? One of you girls has been busy. Um, get an open spot here for us. Yeah, five eggs today, right? No. Yeah, five. Huh, how about that? Cool. I didn't know that was possible, but we did it. Must have been really happy birds today. This one's happy. This one, oh, they're, they're at, oh, that's why, because they're at like three and a half now, except for Georgia, I bet. Georgia's still at two, but still, Georgia's at two. That's good, that's really good. All right, cool, so that'll be a few extra bucks today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident we can get to back to back to 10,000 today. Then we need to start saving, really need to start saving for next season. But this new key should give us some new things to explore as well, so. Um, yeah, there's that. Okay, so that takes care of our chores around the farm here, aside from fixing the fences. Uh, the dog, too. We have to worry about him. But you know what we need to do first? It is Leah's birthday. Today is the big day. We declare our love for Leah with the bouquet. And I think we need to get to her house early because she might leave. So we have to get over there fast before she uh, heads out for the day. Man, having a horse is so amazing. We got a lot of trees growing up in through here. We have to maybe take care of that. All right. Riding our mighty stallion out to greet our lady love and declare our love for her. Are we ready? The next phase of our lives? Here we go. It's locked. <laughs> well, um, did not anticipate that. Reno, uh, you got any ideas? Just wait a minute, maybe? Try it again. Dig it, try it again. Okay. It's locked. No, Reno, it's locked still. What are you thinking, buddy? I know you're new around here. I mean, you haven't even met Leah yet. Oh, she's gonna love you. All right, well, we'll take you for another ride here. We'll, we'll give it till 10. We'll give it till 10. Maybe she's else, elsewhere. You never know. She just might have it, have it opened yet. But I think if we get there right away at 10, she should be home. Um, we should have brought something for the old wizard. Uh, the fossil will take over to Gunther here later today, even though he already saw us once. 
Uh, do we want to try this old key out? Let's try this old key out. Let's go down to the, uh, the, the sewer over here. Let's see if it's for this. It's kind of interesting the horse can run across these things and no problem. I would think you'd have a problem with that. Alright, it's 10 o'clock. We might be missing out on our opportunity here. Alright, let's try this. <gasps> you unlocked the sewer hatch with the rusty key! <gasps> Whoa. Oh, we can't get into here yet. We can't, we can't, we gotta wait, we gotta wait, we gotta wait on this. Holy cow. Um, alright, waiting on that. Let's go back and talk to Leo quick here. Oop. Worms. Look! Fantastic, maybe that'll tell us about the sewer hatch. More worms? That's good too. Alright, cool. Alright, we have to get back there before she leaves for the day. <laughs> That's a possibility we might have missed her altogether. And that'll ruin our day for sure. How are we gonna give her a birthday present if she's not even home? Alright. Reno! Stay here. Open? Oh, hi! No, don't give her that. Let's talk to her first. It gets pretty cold in my little cabin. Just snuggle up under a huge blanket and I'm okay. You know what? You, you want to get more serious? I feel the same way! I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Uh, a little bit. Did that count as a birthday surprise? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we got the last two hearts unlocked. Fantastic. Now, we haven't given her a gift yet, so we need to get her something for her birthday, too. Um, doesn't count as a gift. Okay, cool. Didn't see that coming. Uh, okay, let's go get a bottle of wine for her quick. I think she likes wine, or we can go to get a salad for her. I think she likes wine, though. Let's give it, let's give her a try. Something more personal from her own vintage might be more, more, uh, more her style. Instead of this, the generic salad we always get her. Oh, Reno, come on, you're getting in the way. Hi-ho, Reno, away! Man. You know, you complain about the speed of your character this whole time, you know, because you walk very, very slowly. But, uh... All in all, like when you get the actual speed up to up to snuff here with the with the horse, it's 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 pretty great. All right, let's get these put in. All right, hop on our steed. Let's go greet our lady with the birthday present then too. And then we have one more bottle of wine for uh, Robin. I think she likes that. Or we can give her the honey. Either way. I think she likes the honey more than the wine. Um, she didn't love it, though. We didn't find what she loves yet. So, that's alright, though. Leah, how's it going? We got the, uh, something else here today, too. Yes, a birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Best friends. Whoa! That skyrocketed us. We really nailed it. Holy cow. Yeah! Well done! Alright, cool! So, uh... Yeah, man, how can this gonna get any better? Okay, let's drop this off at Gunther's. Um... And then we gotta drop this some stuff off at our, uh, we gotta sell this mayo off, because we really need to get to enough money today. Uh, like I said, we need to get 4,400. Uh, I don't think this, the, the sewer's gonna do it for us. So I was thinking that this sewer over here would be where we're going, but maybe not. Let's take a look here quick and see if this works. Oh, it is! Oh. Well, I don't want to go over there just yet. Okay, let's, let's, okay, so both, both work, both work. So, that's, that's kind of cool, though. Um, let's go over here first and talk to Gunther and drop this off, and then we'll go explore what that sewer's all about. Man, a lot of stuff going on today. It's been a long time since something major like this has been happening. We've been building up to this episode for a long time. I did not think that the, uh, the thing with, uh, Gunther here would line up, though. That's kind of crazy. All right, drop that off for him. And let's take our horse back. Oh, we can read that little message there, too. Let's do that quick while we're here. All right, technology report. A blueprints for an advanced piece of machinery called the crystal Crystallarium have been recently published. The machine can grow crystals from almost anything, providing their owners have an endless... Oh, providing their owners with an endless supply of, of the gems. Here's how it works. Place a gem of your choice inside the Crystallarium. Now, be patient. It can take several days, but eventually the Crystallarium will grow a copy of whatever you placed inside. You'll know when it's ready when it stops wiggling. Once you remove your gem, the Crystallarium will start working on another clone. You'll never need to restock it unless you want to change the kind of gem it produces. Unfortunately, the Crystallarium doesn't work with the extremely rare gemstone known as Prismatic Shard. For some reason, the EMF from that shard negatively 
Reacts reacts negatively with the Clue Crystallarium. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I, 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 blueprints were discovered. I don't, I need, I need blueprints for that so we can make more of those things. It'd be amazing to have that as our source of income, just passively creating things for us. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a tier, like top tier mining thing, possibly. We're at, an, we're at an eight for mining though. So it's not too far away if that is the case. I'm guessing it might be it though. It's gotta be pretty expensive to make that though. And limited gems, I mean, seriously, it's gotta be super expensive to make. But it's still pretty cool. All right, so, uh, Reno, you're not fitting through here, are you? Let's go, you're stuck, man, you're stuck. All right, let's go take a look at this sewer, man. All right, here we go. This is probably, this is, we're not gonna get enough money today like I wanted to, but that's okay. Unless there's something really interesting down here. All right, let's see what this guy's all about. Hello? A human visitor. This is most unusual. Krobus. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare exotic goods. Oh, Void Essence Omni Geode Star Drop. Oh my gosh. We can buy Star Drops from him. That's really cool. Crystal Floor recipe. That sounds awesome. And Wicked Statue. I want a Crystal Floor. Should we spend the 500 bucks and just get that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy that. Um, but yeah, Star Drop. We could save our pennies for that thing. I bet she only sells one of them ever. We can't like buy multiples from him, but that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. That's that takes care of that. What is over here? Um, is this like a shortcut? I don't. It's not much of a shortcut. Is that all that's in here? I mean, yeah. I mean, access to a Star Drop eventually is a good thing, but um, and buying Omni Geodes. I mean, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. It could buy Omni Geodes that have the chance to give us anything. But, uh, it is only a chance. I wonder if we could fish in there. We can. I don't know why we'd want to. Probably just catch garbage, I would imagine. Or nothing. Whoa, whoa, what do we got in here? Interesting. Carp, okay. Not what I expected there. That's uh, pretty cool though. That we can fish in here. Whoa, 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 what is this thing? You see it? It's got a special thing on it. Holy cow, what is this? What is that? What is that? This one doesn't have that. Whatever that thing was, it was crazy. I wonder if we need to use that, uh... What was that one? Oh, new record carp. Cool. Um, I wonder if we need to, like, get that fish, that fit the dish of the sea, uh, thing in order to catch that, maybe. Like, our level isn't high enough to get it. We get carp, no problem. New record carp! Oh, man. See, we might get enough money today still. I gotta catch that again. Whatever that was, I gotta catch it a second time. Okay, so yeah, I think if we can't catch it today, we'll come back and try that that fish of the sea or dish of the sea thing. This carp, does all carp, okay. Golden carp though. That's not bad. Um, we'll sell those off. They'll probably sell like 100, 100 piece. Uh, that was nuts. It was a wild, uh, thing. Oh, we can't go up this way. We gotta let, get our horse. We can't just leave our horse sitting up there. He'd be sitting there waiting for us. I bet you he comes home eventually, but probably not gonna be too happy with us if we just leave him sitting there. We're not gonna leave Reno sitting there. Thanks for waiting, buddy. We're back. Don't worry about us. We're back for you. Uh, let's see, we gave Clint the axe the first day? Is it ready now? Let's go take a look here quick. I think it might be ready now. Oh, he's closed ready though. Well, no, it'll be ready tomorrow. We don't need to chop anything today. We didn't want to chop anything anyways, right? But we do want those to get some money. Um, and try to get to 10,000 again so we can get the desert open. Man, we're unlocking everything. Uh, but we probably won't get it today, but, uh, we'll get it soon, I'm sure. Well, tomorrow we'll have we'll do we'll, we'll tomorrow on this episode as well too. Our ancient sword. I'll sell that off. Um, 
we'll do tomorrow's episode right now. I mean, we'll do we'll do t- to tomorrow on this episode still. And then the next day will be the uh, winter event. So that'll be its own episode. And then after that, we should be ready for the desert. And I'm sure between everything we do, I'm sure we can get enough money by uh, in, in three or four days. We won't need more than that, though. We need to get enough money for uh, the spring here, too. Okay, let's see if this is this is this is interesting. This will be if it's gold, then we've got a good profitable thing here. Yes, it is. Cool. And we'll see how much that sells for because um, it'll be our only gem. We can see how much that sells for each day. And it took only a day to grow that. We just put it in there yesterday, uh, I think. So um, that's good. We'll sell that off. And uh, let's take a look and see what the crystal floor costs us. Uh, let's see. Crystal floor. Weathered floor. Where is it? Crystal floor. Oh, refined quartz. Oh, well, that's, that's not bad. It makes five crystal floor. Okay, cool. Um, we should probably fix this thing up so it doesn't look so shabby. I don't think that, uh, someone mentioned in the comments that the animals can't get out of there. Um, so it's not like a necessary thing that we have to fix those things, but I, for my own peace of mind and making it look nice. We want to do it always. Oh, we got to feed our puppy too. Thanks for reminding me, buddy. Uh, let's get him watered. He's happy. Nice. So another day in the books. Um, again, we'll see how long this thing takes. Um, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's. A, I think it's a whole day, but it's. Okay, let's work towards getting our goal of uh, money here too. Because worst case scenario, we'll sell off. Like I said, sixteen of these. Over the course of the next few days, we'll sell off some gold if we need to. If we're forever trouble reaching that 10,000 goal here. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. Let's sell off this fire quartz. I don't think it's really... Oh, there, no, there's uses for it. Never mind. I was going to take, take that back. There was some things we can make with that. Um, cool. Okay, let's uh, let's see. What else can we do here today? We don't want to plant anything else. Um, so we'll sell these things off, I think. And uh, keep that for whatever else. Uh, we need to make a bunch of more sprinklers, first of all, here. So that'll take gold, iron, and refined quartz. We need to get that going before spring also. So maybe we can't sell off a ton of gold. Well, we have lots of gold, though. We have 99. So it's a stack of 99 ore. That'll make 10, 10 ingots? No, uh, 20 ingots. Um, oh, also, last time uh, off camera here, we did level up our fishing ability because I did so much fishing on the last episode. And uh, we got the worm bin, which produces regular bait on a regular basis. Worms are self-sufficient, so we just basically build this thing and it's going to produce bait for us. Not a bad deal, but bait is pretty much common these days. Um, man, okay, what we should try, maybe we should try this, is uh, using some special hooks when we go into that, that um, area again. And first of all, try the barbed hook. Makes your fishing bar, um, uh, makes your fishing car bar more secure, basically. So, um, it, it doesn't... Uh, slow weak fish works best on so that's probably not gonna work. He's a strong fast fish. Uh, what else do we have? The magnet. This is for treasures. Increases chance of finding treasures, but fish aren't crazy about the taste. Okay. Um, we don't have anything other baits besides that. We have this, which is uh, increases the bite rate. Well, we'll use that for now, I think. Um, and we gotta sell that stuff off before the day is out. Because that's another 300 bucks or so. I mean, well, how much money do we need to plant in the spring? Um... We have one more harvester at least when all these things grow. Um, I mean, I don't know, ten thousand would be enough for planting. I mean, we we really want to plant heavily this year. I mean, we might we might want to go big on it. We have the room. We're getting a lot of this farm clear now. We have the money. We have the automation too, so we could go big next year. Uh, let's go take a look and see if there's anything in our uh, bat area now. That has been a whole day. Yeah, nothing, okay. It's very, very, pretty rare that anything will be in there now. Okay, so I guess what we'll do, even though we have a ton of energy left, um, there's not much we can do around here. We could go fish, I guess, but it's already getting kind of late. We're not gonna get too much done. So I think I'll just go ahead and wrap this day up. We'll tackle the next day in just a moment. All right, we're back and let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got a sashimi from yesterday because we didn't use up a lot of energy. Let's take a look at our fortunes for today. And 
bit annoyed today, so luck will not be on our side. Okay. Um. Okay, so we have our spinner on our bait here. We can't really make the uh, dish of the sea because we don't have any hash browns. Um, unless we have two sardines. Do we have two sardines? We don't have the sardines for it either, so that's not going to happen. Uh, unless they're in here. No, we need to catch two sardines and then also find where we can get uh, some uh, hash browns. Not going to happen, I think. We'll have to save that up for next, for next year. Look out, puppy. Get out of the way! Alright. So we're up to 6,800. The uh, fire quartz we made yesterday uh, sells for 150. 150 is what we get out of that. Um, and if, it's that every, if that's every single day, that's not bad. Let's see. Modi, I was going to give you advice because I like you and want you to stay at Pelican Down. If there comes a day when you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them the mermaid's pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck. Okay, we did read about that at the uh, at the, at the museum the other day. Um, the there's an old ghost mariner that's supposed to sell it, and we've we've met him before because he was selling an amulet or had an amulet we weren't ready for uh, that he had. He only appears in the rain, so we need to get down there in the spring and talk to him about that. So only a few more days still to go for that though. Uh, Modi, tomorrow's the Feast of the Witcher Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in Town Square. See you then. Yep, we got that. And we have this. And we can get these. Lock down. And let's actually make another batch of that. Um, and we'll go get our axe from Clint today, too. And that will get us a lot more wood. We can actually turn the wood into charcoal, then. Or coal. And then uh, we should be good as far as our metal needs go. Um, we can just cook up all that ore, cook up all this iron, cook up all this copper. We'll be set for bars for a long time. We can do anything we want. Uh, cook up all that quartz as well. It'll take a few days. I mean, the, the gold takes a while. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's break this. Uh, let's do this. And we'll put this where it's supposed to go. Which is here. Cool. And we should put something in it. If we have, uh, this, we'll do that. And we have a wine for Robin, or we can give her the honey. I think she liked the. I think the reaction to the honey was better, so we'll go with that. Um, let's sell the wine off, actually. Oh, do we want to keep this for gift? Eh, let's sell the wine off. We can always buy a salad for Leah. We know what she likes. Not a big deal. I mean, we have a lot of money to sit in here waiting. Uh, do we want another mayo machine? Hmm. Okay, maybe. But let's go take a look and see what our chickens have to say for themselves. They say we got lots of big eggs today, and we're actually missing. So somebody was five yesterday. Now we got. Now we only got three today. Nobody's annoyed or anything like that, though. George is still not happy with us. Not not as happy as the rest. Of them. I guess she hasn't been here as long. Uh, okay, let's turn the big eggs in. And uh, now what do we want to do? Okay, so let's see. We have the spinner bait. Um, I don't think it's going to improve our chances, though, without those that hash browns. Um, so tell you what, let's go down to the ocean and see if we can catch a couple sardines. First of all, I'd like to see if the... Um, does the saloon sell hash browns? They know they sell the hash browns recipe, but do they sell actual hash browns? I think we just need potatoes to make that and oil, probably. Hmm. Yeah, we can't make that. And we can't go to the, uh, to there anyways right now anyways. So let's go down to the ocean. We'll check a look for any shells or anything like that to sell off. We'll also take a look and see if, uh, oop, there's a worm serum. What is that? Dried starfish? Oh, that's something new too. Cool. Um, oh, nothing over here too. Another book. And then, um, let's take a look over here and see if there's any other things to sell off. Oh, more worms. Oh, look at this. Lobster? Some of that. That doesn't sell for a lot. But shrimp, lobster, and driftwood? Nice. I wonder if we can put the, the bait machine down here. And this is stall it down by the water here. And then we can always get our bait from that. Uh, instead of getting it off of our thing each day. That might work. Depends on how much serious, how serious you want to get about uh, crab pots. 
Not much here today. Oh, this is pretty good. So yeah, when it's raining out, we used to see the old mariner like laying in the thing here with a uh, the sombrero on or something. And uh Yeah, he only appears in the rain, so we can't do it in the winter, unfortunately. Even though it snows a lot during winter. It doesn't rain. Alright, so let's talk to uh Let's talk to him quick. And uh, let's give him actually should we just give him some shrimp maybe? Or give him a lobster. He might like a lobster. Let's see if he likes it. A gift, thanks. Okay, he doesn't really care for that one. But he might like it a little bit anyways. Uh, okay, let's sell these things off. We'll give that to Gunther. And um, let's go fishing for sardines. First of all, let's take a look and see if there's any spots around here that are splashing. I like that he clip clops on the, the thing here. Love it. All right, no fishing spots that we want to use. Nope, okay. Well, let's just stop down and then we'll just uh, fish by our lonesome over here. Let's see what we can catch. A couple of sardines is what we're looking for. I don't know if we can catch sardines or not. Usually we can catch most things like that. Red mullet. Record-breaking mullet. Nice. Not what we wanted, though. Too good, actually. We need something worse than that. Maybe we need to catch shallower, maybe? We're catching way- we're casting way far out there. Record-breaking herring. Let's just do this. Like, old-school, like, fishing, like we used to do. Let's see if maybe this will bear us some smaller fish. Do a little bit of that action. Yeah. Small cast. Here we go. This guy's actually tougher than, tougher than he looks. There's a sardine. Okay, cool. So that, that theory is work. That is that kind of proves the theory. So we need two sardines for the for the dish. Now we need to find out if they sell hash browns at the uh, at the saloon. Oh, not enough sardine. Okay, let's try one more time. It's one o'clock. This, this loot will be open for a while still. We're catching things fast. That's probably the uh, spinner we put on there. Sardine, please. Nope. Come on. Nope. Oh, man. We got time. We got time. Not a big deal. There we go. Come on, Sardine. Oh, boy. Disappointed that the fish isn't worse. Come on. Here we go. This will be it. There we go. Okay, there's the two sardines. Now let's go over to see if they still hash runs at the at the bar. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. But we'll we'll take a look. Um, where else can we go? There's no place else that sells food around here besides the saloon. So if they don't have, it, we're screwed. We have to wait till we get potatoes, and that'll be spring. But then we can go looking for the uh, in spring we go looking for that fish again. Uh, nope. No such luck. We have pizza recipe and that is it. Well, right, let's get to sell, sell for Leah at least. Then go stop by her house and give her a second gift for the- Oh, no, we need to do? We can't do that. We have to give her a, a good, good, uh, winter star gift, actually. We can't do that, so. Um, we'll wait on that. Uh, what else we want to do? Well, we'll take our sardines back. And I guess we can go talk to- Oh, we gotta get our axe from Clint. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, Reno, go. We wouldn't make it without him, actually, but we're gonna make it just fine this time. This is one of the situations where we get there and the thing is just closing. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Go, go, go. <laughs> we can make it. We can make it. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Reno. We gotta go. Can't, can't wait around. Yeah, we 
Yeah, we would have missed that by a couple a couple minutes. There we go, gold axe. Fantastic. And buddy, uh, what else do you got? Nope. Okay, we can't buy iridium yet. I was hoping maybe we could buy it, but let's stop by Gunther's quick and drop this off as long as we're over here. And let's go back for Reno. Donate a starfish. Cool. Um, and then we can move stuff. We can't take it back though. Yep, that's right. Uh, let's go take a look and read this book here quick. Abigail, how you doing? I'm going to eat so much cranberry sauce tomorrow. Secrets of the legendary fish. Fishermen seek out, speak of five rare and unique fish that can only be caught by skilled anglers. Once caught, they will never appear again. The crimson fish lives in the warm ocean waters of the summer. It's been sighted on the far eastern side of the beach. The glacier fish only appears in the winter and can be caught off the southern, southern tip of Arrowhead Island in Cinder Snaps. We didn't even find this yet. Cinder Snaps Forest, okay. Near where the river meets the ocean. Cinder Snap Forest. Is that to the south? Is Cinder Snap the one that's... We'll take a look at our map here quick. The anglerfish can be spotted in the fall, north of town where the river flows down from the mountains. And there's a rumor of a strange twisted fish that lives in the sewer. Oh, that must have been the one we were going after before. The final fish, a species never before caught, is simply known as Legend. It is rumored that he lives in a log submerged in the mountain lake, only ventures out on rainy spring days to nibble at the frog's eggs. Only the most skilled fisherman can help catch this one. Train at fishing and be persistent, and eventually you'll catch these elusive fish. Make sure to respect the water, and don't remove too many fish from the ecosystem. Okay, I guess so. Um, so we have a we have a live recipe here for all kinds of different fish here. Crimson fish, ocean warm ocean waters of summer, eastern side of the beach. Glacier fish in the winter, caught on the southern tip of the arrow of Arrowhead Island. Is Arrowhead Island? Uh, I think I wonder if that's if that's on our map or if it's someplace else we need to go to. And the angler fish that's found in fall can't get those right now. And then the sewer the fish in the sewers. I think that's what we were catching before. It was the legendary fish. That had to make sense because they had a special icon. And uh, we're not a 10 yet, as far as our fishing skill yet, so that's probably why we couldn't catch it. But I think if we use that dish that I'm talking about, we could get there. So, because it adds on 3 fishing skill. So that'll work, but we can't make any hash browns, so it has to wait till spring, which means there's no point in trying. I guess what we'll do is try- look, look at the map here quick. Um, yeah, Arrowhead Island. Ruined house. Sewer pipe. I don't think Arrowhead Island's on this map. Lonely Stone. I think that it's someplace else we need to go to. I don't know how we get there, but uh, I have a feeling it's someplace else. Because there's nothing about an island. That is, there's no no islands on this area. Nothing at all. So um, it's unlikely that it's here. Unless this this whole area here is Arrowhead Island. Because it's, it's surrounded by the river a little bit. But it doesn't look like an Arrowhead at all. That can't be it. Okay, so let's go sell off our fish. That should get us close to where we need to go. Oh, it's uh, Wednesday. Everybody's going to the bar. Oh, jeez, no. Why? Oh. Okay, good. Didn't hurt our, our chances too much with her. I mean, I guess maybe she realized it was a mistake. Oh, God. Great. Way to put your foot in your mouth, Modi. One day, one day you can go without putting your foot in your mouth. Uh, that said... We got this bad boy right now. Let's go try this out. Let's some stuff around that with the farm here. And see how good it is for getting wood. Man. <laughs> Unfortunate. We just popped right off and she was right there. Luckily she just laughed it off. It was awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's less than a day. For this uh, fire quartz. And it's just gonna go again. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, turn some of this stuff in here. Sell this off. Um, let's keep these for cooking. And we'll sell off the good ones. And, um, keep the gold also. But, uh, we're, we're okay with selling that off tomorrow if we're not gonna make our goal. If we don't think we're gonna make our goal, we'll sell it off for sure. Uh, let's grab these. Uh, also, we need to put the sardines separate from our normal stock so we don't accidentally use them up when we make sashimi. Um, because that would be bad. Uh, let's sell this off, sell this off, sell this off. Cool. That's going to get us awfully close to where we need to be. Uh, let's, make up this, let's make up the iron now. 
beautiful. And now, the one we've been waiting for, let's go try out our golden axe. Where are we gonna try it? Let's try it on one of these bad boys. I actually kinda like how these are in a line, so we're not gonna do that, guys. Let's get these guys. That's pretty good. I don't think we're getting extra any extra wood or anything like that, but um, it's chopping them fast. You see how fast did that stump? Two hits on the stump, four hits on the tree? That's pretty good. Wow, yeah, we got up to 82 wood just from this short little while we've been doing this right now. Cool stuff. All right, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, I think we might wrap up the episode there and come back next episode for the uh, win the Winter Star Festival or whatever. Festival of the Winter Star. Uh, and give a Robin our gift and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, hold on for that one. We'll be back next time for that. Just want to get a few more bucks here before we wrap up. Uh, we'll quest again for 10,000 on the following day. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this will this will do it. Got some jam. This will always sell for good stuff. Uh, a lot of money. Um... It makes more blackberry jam? I think that's what this is, yeah, blackberry jelly. Yep, sure. Oh, we're out of stuff for that one. And, uh, I guess to take those with us. Okay, we have nothing left to pickle, so, um, hopefully we get there. And have now a little extra money to spare. Uh, let's hang on to this for, for gifts for people, maybe? Don't eat the flowers. Uh, and we'll drop this stuff off. Yeah, okay, so let's wrap it up there. We'll come back next time for more Stardew Valley. Tomorrow is going to be the Winter Festival. Uh, should be really cool. Can't wait to check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.